大家好, I'm Nathan Rich, aka 火锅大王. If you suffered through my philosophical video comparing analog and digital information, first of all, I'm sorry and thank you. Second of all, you've already seen that I think nothing we know can be considered to be ultimately true. Now, that isn't to say that there's no meaning to life, just that there's no knowable meaning. So there's no reason to do anything at all, right? Not exactly. When I was desperate and detached from the world, I struggled with an internal battle. As Scientology's cult ideas were breaking apart in my mind, I searched anxiously for meaning to my life. Alone and with nothing, I felt I needed a reason to carry on, but I couldn't find one. Life to me was a mystery. What should I do with myself? What path should I take? Who should I be? When I finally took the idea of doing computers to heart, I accidentally stumbled upon one of life's greatest secrets. In my opinion, the secret to success. In Scientology, the cult I grew up in, they have lots of catchy little ways of indoctrination. Mantras and sayings they repeat amongst themselves. One of them is, be, do, have. The idea is that in order to have something, let's say the life of a rock star, you must first become a rock star. You start by acting like a rock star and making your personality like a rock star and so on. Then you must do the things a rock star does and finally you will have a rock star's life. As most things in the cult, it sounds great at first, but as I analyzed it further, I found it to be not only wrong, but counterproductive. When I lived in a sewer, I did want something. I wanted to have a life, a job, a vehicle, a home, money, and only limited restrictions. I wanted, in short, to be normal, or as normal as I could be. Had I followed the advice of the cult, I would have tried to change myself into being whatever normal is first in my mind, like some kind of personal meditation and shift. That's how cults think. But I discovered that would have been a grave mistake. I instead ignored the repeating messages in my head to try to be normal or act normal instantly magically, and instead developed my own philosophy on how to get that normal life. I was gonna stop trying to magically suddenly be anything, and I was gonna stop thinking, wondering, wishing, and imagining. No, I had a much better idea than L. Ron Hubbard, the creator of the cult that plagued my childhood. Rather than live in the world of theory, the digital world of my mind, I decided the only way to shape my reality, my existence in the analog world, was to manipulate the analog world. In other words, the only way to get what I wanted from the universe was to start changing the universe around me. Not to be something different, not to wish harder or try this or that, to actually do something. And after doing something, change to myself would come naturally. As soon as I decided that, I quickly started planning out my moves, like in a game of chess. I knew what I wanted, but how could I get it? What were the first steps? But I never got caught up in the planning. As soon as I knew what the first step was, I did it. And as soon as that step was done, I repeated this cycle. Find out what the next step is. Do it. Stop thinking so much. Just do it. And while that can sound overly simple or like a Nike ad, its simplicity should not be confused with ineffectiveness. In fact, it's quite the opposite. A lot of people have been messaging me, asking for advice about their lives. They are at a crossroads. They aren't happy. They don't know what to do with themselves. Things aren't going their way, they tell me. They want to know what I think they should do about their life situations. This video is for those people. The only answer I can give is the one that worked for me, and that's this. Stop thinking so much about who you want to be and who you think you should be and instead pay attention to who you already are. The more you understand about who you are now, the more you can take steps to get where you want to be. One person messaged me and told me that he was unhappy with the situation. He was going to school even though he really didn't care about school. His parent was making him go through rigorous education and he felt the only reason he was doing it was for his family. What should he do, he wondered. What is the meaning of life, he asked me. Another wrote and told me a similar story. This one got hooked on playing games he spends his days and nights lost in the imaginary world of video games. Without purpose and without hope, he idles his time away, a mild form of apathy. So how can he find meaning in his life? The way I see it is the secret lies in a combination of understandings. In my opinion, first you need to understand that there is no knowable meaning to life. There may not even be a meaning at all, but if there is one, you don't know it and you probably never will. Allow yourself to be comfortable with that. It's not a bad thing at all. 
It's not a restriction on your life, but in fact a great release. If we knew that the meaning of life was to breed as many dogs as possible, then you'd be trapped in an endless life of breeding dogs. But because we know there isn't a discernible meaning, that allows us all to choose our own paths. What an amazing freedom. Allow yourself to really take in the freedom that comes with finally accepting that you are in control of your life, not someone else and not some mystical guiding direction. That's the first part. Once you have fully accepted this and understand how positive a thing it is, you're ready for the second part. Understand practicality. Practicality is the set of real limitations on your life created by other people and by the universe itself. You probably won't be the first human on Mars, even if you try really, really hard. You probably won't be able to start flying by flapping your hands like a bird. Those are practical realities. Once you accept they exist and view them honestly, you're ready for the next part. My advice to those who search for their destiny is this. Stop thinking about what you want to be. Stop thinking about what you want to have. The main thing you should concern yourself with is the answer to this question. What do you want to do? When you wake up in the morning, what is the thing that you want to be doing all day? It's a fascinating observation to me that people quite often ignore this one the most. They want to be a fireman, and then when they finally become one, they're unhappy because all they do all day is wait around for a fire, which rarely comes. Or they want to be a lawyer, only to find out that they're now trapped in a world of endless books, memorizations, and technicalities. Semantics. Find out what it is that you love to do. Once you know what you love to do, stop wondering and imagining and thinking and fantasizing. Start strategizing about how to do that more. At first, you may find you can only do it sometimes. School, work, and other things get in the way. That's fine. Just keep going. Keep doing it. Keep slowly rearranging your life to be able to do it more. You'll probably find that you suck at doing that thing. Doesn't matter. Keep doing it. You'll get better with time. And as that time goes on, you'll find yourself able to do that thing more and more. Your family, your friends, your colleagues, and classmates will all adjust. If you want to be a painter your whole life, but everyone says you're wasting your time, too bad. Do your schoolwork. Do your work. Take care of your family and your affairs. Do everything you have to do and reward yourself by painting. Just start getting painting into your life. Don't try to be a painter or act like a painter or collect as many paintbrushes as you can. Paint. That's what I did in my life. I wanted to have a normal life, so I started rearranging my life to be more normal. I wanted to do computers, so I started doing computers. I went to school. I worked. I did everything I needed to do, but I always made sure I also did computers. No matter how many people called me a nerd or made fun of me or whatever else. Too bad. I'm doing computers. And through the expression of passion, doing computers became easier and easier. Over time, people tried to stop me from doing computers less and less. Then they were all okay with me doing computers. And later, they all expected me to do computers. So, it's possible this strategy wouldn't work in some rare cases, but believe me, it really can be this simple. Find something positive you want to do and just start doing it. Do it all the way, do it well, and expand all you can into it. You will barely be able to remember when you felt purposeless in short order. You will have a purpose, and that purpose will be to do that thing. And if you're strategic and you make the right moves, that will become your career or a great hobby of yours. So the short answer to those people lost as to who they want to be is this. The future is as bright as you are doing the positive things you love to do. I believe that that's the meaning of life. Creating a positive experience for yourself and those around you by doing those positive things you want to and encouraging others to do so as well. And as a side note, please tell me what you decided to do. I can't reply to everything, but I am reading your comments and thinking about you all. Thanks everybody. See ya.